not shit myself. One bit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Sam, we Ben's do. brother. <laughs> um, so how much, uh, it is how much of a privilege of us, um, <laughs> hey, no, <laughs> on behalf of the bridal party, I would like to thank Ben plus Chloe for choosing us. <laughs> <laughs> Them on this special day it is an honour and a privilege. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to say um, how beautiful the bridesmaids uh, flower girls look today, and for a bunch of uh, ugly bastards that they are, they scrub up all as well. Um, I'd just like to say that it's a special, pretty special day when you have all your uh, closest friends and family in the same place at the same time. Um, <laughs> it's a good day, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote these notes? <laughs> Sean did, I'd, I'd let him. <laughs> It's better than nothing though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much better than what I'm gonna get. It's what you get when you write a speech in the morning on the wedding, isn't it? Okay, this is top point number five. <laughs> How and when Ben met Chloe? I don't know. <laughs> So we moved to one turn of south, we were there to, for a few years, till mum and dad parted ways, and we moved out to Furniture Gully where we met all of our pretty close mates today, like Matt Collins and Alex Gardner and a few other boys, and yeah, it was a good time. Um, then I moved down to Geelong and Ben moved to Roval and etc. Um, times when Ben made me proud to be his brother was... <laughs> It's not too many to go. Uh, one, one time I was in, like Dad said, he always made Ben look after me when I was a kid. Um, he drilled it right into him from when we were young. It was actually on video camera on my first day of school and that. And I was getting, one day in grade four, some grade five kid was uh, throwing a basketball and hit me in the back of the head. Uh, I thought he might have meant it, but I didn't think he did. And then he did it again, I thought, oh, he, he meant that, didn't he? He did one more time, I thought, it's on here. So before I knew it, I was punching on in grade four. I had him by his hair on the ground, and before I know, I didn't have great fitness back then, or stamina, so I, he had me and his mate came in here to show me, and thinking, where's Ben? I need him right now. And before he knew it, there was a few kids around us, and um, Ben came crashing through and absolutely smashed him, and that was great to see. Ben was my brother that day, to be honest. Um, what else? Uh, a good nerdy run. Yeah, he did a nerdy run when he was at some local cricket game that cost him about, what is it, three Ricos? It's THC, Sam. It's THC. It's cost him thousands, anyway. Um, he did, also did a nerdy run through Knox City. Yeah. Yeah, Paul Ollie Cox riding out on the Knox bike track. Yeah. Yeah, moving on. Anyway. Um, oh, I'm not going to read that out. Nah, I'm not going to read that out. That would be shit. Okay, now. Nah, I'm not reading that. We're on to now. Okay, um. 
Yeah, I think that uh, Chloe's definitely made Ben a better person. Uh, <laughs> ben didn't have a great run with the girls. I'm not going to name their names, they don't matter. Um, definitely made him chill out more and a lot of other things, etc. Yes. Um, I'm going to close the speech now. <laughs> no, keep going. <laughs> um, may your love be modern enough to survive the times, but old fashioned enough to last forever. Hey! Uh, hey. <laughs> After an applause, I feel pretty comfortable up here. <laughs> I'd, I'd also like to quickly thank Sean for helping me with the speech because without Sean. <laughs> 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 that is for sure. This is Sean's speech. <laughs> Just up here talking. <laughs> uh, and yeah, if you could all uh, raise and charge your glasses, as they say, I'd like to raise a toast to Ben and Chloe for their marriage. <laughs> I want out drink. Chloe and Ben. Chloe and Ben. Cheers. I'd like to close the toast and touch the glass forever. Thank you.